Hello guys, welcome to Coop Education. This is our 10th video of the free SEO series. And in this video, we are going to learn about guest posting or guest blogging in search engine optimization or SEO. So let's begin. In the last class, we have discussed about what was business listing in SEO, what is the importance of business listing in search engine optimization, how do you do a business listing, how do you post your business to a site, and what are the rules for business listing. And in this video, we are going to learn what is guest post marketing. First of all, guest posting or you can say guest blogging is a content marketing technique where you write a website, a, a blog or publication that is in your own. It is saying that guest posting allows you to write the content or what is in your mind for the best marketing technique for others, not for your own. The post usually includes a link to your own website somewhere within the text and maybe little acknowledge, acknowledgement at the end of the post. It's saying that when you write a blog or you do the guest blog or you do guest blog posting, in the number of words you will provide your own website or your own business link which will be redirected by the guest post marketer or the guest marketer or the guest blogger which will generate a bank link to your website and will be helpful in the growing traffic to the business or to your website. So next thing is what are the guest posts in SEO? The guest post is when an author writes a piece of content under their own name for someone else blog is saying that when you suppose I am an author of a blog and I am writing the blog for other ones but to post in other site with the available of my link in that particular blog which will help them or which will help me to increase the number of traffic to my websites writing guest post is an easy way to gain a lot of exposure quickly. It will it will get it, it will give more opportunities because when your uh, website link or anything related to your website is posted on other ones, his or her, her visitor will also be interested in your site and will click the link and come to your website. But the guest posts are also kind of hard work. They require a lot more than just throwing a post up on a random page. As we have discussed before, before posting any kind of guest post or guest blogs, you must go through the DR and P, DA and PA, that is, the, that is called Domain Authority and Base Authority. And what is the, it also depends on what is the quality or what is the reality or what is the informative part of your blog and is also, uh, is also responsible, the guest post is also responsible for your creation and generation of traffic to website. That means all will just go, all will just go through a quality content. So your guest post must of a quality content and then your backlink is created through the guest post which will help you to generate a lot of traffic to your website. So next thing we will study about is what is guest post backlink. As we discussed guest posting which is also known as guest blogging is the process of writing blogs for other websites to be published in which your link may be present there. 
is also a method of getting backlinks from blogs to your own website in exchange of an article link that can be mentioned in different places in the post as we have discussed before that if your blog is up to 100 lines in that you can give your own link or your own business links or your website links in the in the particular lines uh, specifically i have given the post in fifth line and then tenth line and then twentieth line likewise so in this in this process you are getting an opportunity to attract the viewer to attract the reader which will read your blog and come to your website and visit you. Next thing we'll go is what are the benefits of guest posting? So, first of all, we will see that guest posting allows your brand to be mentioned outside of their own website and gives you access to a broader audience that otherwise might never have heard about you. So let's make it clear that we have two business person. One is A and one is B. So guest posting allows A to post its contents in B and allows B to post its contents in A. Likewise, A will be able to access the customer of B and B will be able to access the customer of A. In this, both will be very profitable or both will be very lucky to get all the, their customers of, uh, of, uh, of their businesses regarding this, their business will also grow. And in SEO, the main focus of the guest posting is it allows you to post your views or to post your uh, blogs or to post some informative things in other ones blogs or in other one websites. So each digital marketing guest post you, you create puts you one step closer to growing your audience base and the revenue associated with this growth. So it is saying that in digital marketing or in SEO, your post you create puts you one step closer, it will just help you in growing your audience base as we have discussed that it helps in generating lots of traffic and lots of audience or lots, lots of visitors to the website so that the revenue and the growth will be increased. To your website. Next, we'll see the steps for uh, guest post marketing. The first step here is uh, have to type a top guest post rights for SEO in your search engine. Create the account if needed, or otherwise you can post it. The main thing about posting is you have to create an account because you need to post it regularly. So it is better to create an account. Some sites also allows you to not create an account. They prefer posting rather than creating an account. Then post your blog. Then here are some important steps which is recommended by all the SEO experts is that your content must be minim of minimum 700 words. You must note that your content must be of 700 words. More than that is okay, but less than 700 is not okay. And you must use high quality blogs for guest blogging. I would suggest that you go with high quality bloggers that have experience in blog writing and the blog must be informative the blog must give some information to its readers
So here we will see practically how guest posting is done, or the steps to go to the guest posting sites. First of all, I will type here top guest blogging sites. I have already typed and searched this. So I will go with 22 best sites for guest posting. And here I will get some like uh, copy blogger, social media examiner, and we'll go with copy blogger. So this is the official website of copyblogger.com. You can see here there are lots of blogs and as this is a blogging site, we will have to sign into it and sign into it and post your blog here. In the next classes. Uh, we will write a blog in which uh, our, uh, our video content is also based on how to write a blog and afterwards we will see how to write a blog and how to post it for yours as well as we will see how to post it for a guest posting. Next we will see what was our today's takeaways or what did we discuss today. So first thing we discussed was what is guest post marketing and uh, what are the guest posts in SEO search engine optimization? What is guest post backlink? We discussed it. What is the benefit of guest posting? We discussed it. And steps for guest post marketing. So, I hope you got something informative. If you got something informative, don't forget to like our channel, subscribe our channel and comment it what else do you need rather than SEO and and we are bringing you many courses such as PHP and many more in the next coming days thank you